Welcome back to Animal of the Week. This week's animal is by far one of the strangest looking animals in the world, with its flat body, protruding fins, and stump behind. It is of course, the ocean sunfish. Ocean sunfish unsurprisingly live in the ocean. They are found in all oceans except the Arctic and Antarctic, as they prefer tropical and temperate waters. Ocean sunfish are pelagic, meaning they mainly live in open ocean, but will travel to shallower areas of coral or kelp to be cleaned. They live in areas of water above 10 degrees, because if it gets any colder, they will most likely die. Ocean sunfish feed mainly on small organisms such as zooplankton, mollusks, other smaller fish and crustaceans, but their most common prey are jellyfish, which is surprising as sunfish are very large and have an incredible growth rate, so require a lot of energy, but jellyfish are mostly water and have little nutritional value, meaning sunfish have to be very active hunters. Sunfish display sexual dimorphism, where females are larger than males. They have been seen to live for 10 years in captivity, but it isn't known how long they can live in the wild. But using growth curves, it's estimated sunfish over 3 meters long would be around 20 years old. They reproduce through a method called broadcast spawning, where females release eggs into the water and males release their sperm into the water to fertilize the floating eggs. Female sunfish hold the record for the most eggs produced by a vertebrate with each spawn containing around 300 million eggs. Probably the most well-known behaviour that sunfish display is basking on the surface of the water in the sun. Scientists are not 100% sure why they do this, but the most likely reason is thermoregulation. Sunfish dive down to anywhere from 200 to 600 metres to hunt, but as said before, sunfish like it warm, so just like marine iguanas in the Galapagos, they must rest in the sun for a while to warm up before they can hunt again, or they may get too cold and simply shut down. Some fish are the largest boned fish in the world. They can weigh up to a thousand kilograms or more. Unlike sharks and some fish, they possess proper bones, and so skeletons have been recovered. As you can see, they are even stranger than the fish themselves. A large sunfish, measuring over 4 metres from fin to fin, has almost nothing to fear except ship collisions, but smaller sunfish are at risk of being eaten by sea lions and orca. Sunfish are also caught by humans, especially in Japan, where there is a small market for them, but in Europe it is illegal to catch and trade ocean sunfish meat. They are mostly only caught by humans by accident when they get caught in nets. This is known as bycatch. The IUCN classified the sunfish as vulnerable due to their natural rarity combined with human interference and their decreasing sightings all over the world. Thank you for watching this Animal of the Week. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us. And feel free to request animals for future episodes.